Sure. Next problem. The cost of sodas is $1.69. If John bought 14 for his classmates, how much did he spend? Well, we have, he bought 14 and each one cost that much. So obviously we have $1.69 times 14. If I were going to estimate it, I could estimate it two ways. First, I could say this is 1 times 14, and that could be one of my estimates. The other one, I could say 2 times 14, and that would give me a high and a low. My answer should be between $14 and $28. I just rounded it down and then rounded it up. And so I found the low side and the high side. So it is multiplication. When I multiply, I ignore the decimal points. So I should have 169 times 14. I don't put the decimal points in until I get my answer. 9 times 4 is 36. 24, 25, 26, 27. 4, 5, 6, 0, 9, 6, 4, 6, uh, 16, 13, Oh, we did something wrong here. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. All right, what am I doing wrong? The five is supposed to eat two. All right, let's, let's go back here. I think I'm doing the multiplication, but I think I'm doing the... Nine times four is 36. 24, 27, four, five, six. Do I have that right? Okay. And we have a zero. One times nine is nine. One times six is six. One times one is, there's my mistake. I have six, 16, 12, 13. So I have $23 and 66 cents. Two numbers behind the decimal point, my problem. Two numbers behind it, my answer. So that would mean that John spent $23 and 66 cents that does fall between our high and low estimate. So boom, that works.